Doc here reviewing Ohm's Law and the power equation for the physics of sound and music. Ohm's Law is capital V equals capital I times capital R, V equals IR, and the power law P is IV, or it might say definition. Well, to understand equations that involve physical quantities, it's nice to know what the physical quantities are. So we come here to a table where, for example, if we were looking at the medical profession, we would have something like age here and description, how old you are, some kind of symbol for the medical chart and the units, years, if you're in college, and if you're looking at infants, months. Another physical quantity is the weight. That would be what a scale reads when you stand on it on Earth, which is important because if you allow for the medical profession to operate on the moon, so if you stand on a scale on the moon, you weigh one six your weight. Some kind of symbol to represent that and some kind of units like pounds. So here we have voltage, the strength of a battery, capital V, measured in volts, which is also abbreviated as capital V. And if you have a 9 volt battery in a circuit, and there's lots of elements, a given element across that element, you might have 0.2 volts instead of the 9 volts. So that would be like if you pulled out that one element, the effective battery you would need to make the same physics would be 0.2 volts for that particular element. While in reality, there's like a 9 volt battery, but there's a lot of other stuff, so that volts is for the batteries being shared among the various elements. So that's a nice definition, the strength of the battery. And the current is the flow of electricity, I, measured in amps, after ampere, amperes, capital A, to abbreviate that. Resistance, which impedes electrical flow, capital R, measured in ohms, and here we have the Greek letter, a capital omega. And the power is defined as the current times the voltage, capital P, the units, watts, and abbreviate it, capital W. Here we want to come up with some arrangement with numbers to uh, play our Jeopardy game and psych out the exam. So we pretend now we're the teacher. We need to have numbers to make this work and since uh, we have lots of uh, things building up to the P, we go to our chart to find a rich number to pick. So we go to the math review uh, sheet here and we look at here draw your attention to 24. Notice that 2 times 12 is 24, 3 times 8 is 24, 4 times 6 is 24, and then in reverse 6 times 4 is 24, 8 times 3 is 24, and 12 times 2 is 24. 24 is a rich number. So we're going to pick 24 to be our P, and then since I appears twice we'll pick that to be a small factor of the 24, uh, 2. So 2 times 12 gives 24 and then since the 12 is committed here to the V and I've committed the I to the 2, 6 times 2 works to give 12. So now it's time to play Jeopardy! 24 watts. The question is what is the wattage or what is the power if I draw 2 amps of current and use 12 volts? Well 2 times 12 gives you 24. Here is 12 volts. What is the voltage if a resistor of 6 ohms has 2 amps of current going through it? 2 times 6, 12. What about 2 amps? Well, two questions. What is the current if 12 volts is your voltage and your power is 24 watts? Say so then you would just divide their 12 into 24, get a 2. Or you could say, what is the current in your circuit if you have 12 volts connected across a 6 ohm resistor? Then 6 into 12 gives you 2. So by making up questions like this and then trying them out with your friends, that's good practice for the exam. Notice that the hard question here involves asking for the power where you would give here the current and the resistance. So you don't have enough information to get the power unless you do some calculation first. You would have to take the current, say it's 2 amps, and the resistance, 6 ohms, multiply those first to get 12 volts, your V, then come down here and use your 12 volts 
with the two amps given in the question and then 2 times 12 to give 24 watts. So that's a hard question because you require two steps. But knowing your physics and breaking the problem in this small chunks can be done in a straightforward manner.